In today's episode, I talk about three strategies to improve patience. Check it out. There's a voice deep inside every dad calling him to lead. Society, vices, inner demons, negative thoughts try to dampen and drown out that voice, but it never goes away. Your wife feels it, your children feel it, and your heart and soul feel it too. It's the voice that starts off as a whisper, but then becomes a calling. A calling to be the tip of the spear for your family. A calling to play all out and lead by example for your children. A calling to build a legacy that will go on for generations. A calling to be the warrior dad you were born to be. Dads, our children need us now more than ever to be that beacon of hope, courage, positivity, and strength. It's time to rise as warrior dads together as a brotherhood. If you felt that twinge in your soul, it's time for the warrior dad experience. All right, in today's episode, love this topic of patience. I hear it from dads time and time again of how can I improve my patience with my kiddos, with my wife, with my spouse, or even in a work setting? What strategies, tools, tactics do you have to share to improve my patience? And I think being patient is, being patient is so important as we look to optimize and become the best version of ourselves. And that's the journey I'm on as a human being. I feel like that's the journey, right? That's call that call that I talked about earlier this week in an episode. That's the call that we're getting on a daily basis, that call to be the best version of ourselves. So how do you improve patience as a dad, as a husband, as a leader, as a man? All right. Strategy number one. It's going to be so simple, easy, almost laughable. You might discount it, but please don't discount this strategy number one. Strategy number one, when you're in a moment where you feel like you're going sideways, right? Something's triggered you. Something's got you. Maybe the kiddos aren't listening. Maybe you're in a possibly headed towards a heated discussion, argument, blow up with your wife. Maybe it's at work and you've got some conflict going on. First strategy to implement is to breathe, is to take a breath in through your nose, out through your nose. Just breathe in the moment. When you breathe, amazing things happen. Number one, if you're getting knocked off kilter, if you're getting knocked sideways, when you breathe, you come back to center. Old Stoics used to say breath, the power of the breath gets us back to equanimity, which is back to center. So when you're in the moment, just take a breath. Be very conscious of breathing in through that nose, out through the nose. I do this all the time now, especially when something triggers me. I take a breath. Why? It's that momentary pause between stimulus and response. Viktor Frankl calls it that true freedom in life. He's got a wonderful book, Man's Search for Meeting. If you haven't Check that out. Definitely check it out. I actually think it's free on Audible if you listen to audiobooks like I do as well. But it's that momentary pause in between stimulus and response, that breath, simple, something so simple, easy, almost laughable, that can all of a sudden improve our patience. Right? Take a breath. All of a sudden, it's a pause. Choose your response. Don't react. Be conscious, and that breath allows you to really get back to center. Be conscious of what decision, how do I want to react? How do I want to act in this moment? Power of the breath. Strategy number one. Simple, easy, almost laughable. That's what I love sharing with you and sharing with my kiddos, my family, with the dads and the warrior dad experience. Hey, power of the breath. Number one strategy to improve patience. When you get triggered, breathe. Breathe in through that nose. Very, be very conscious. It will bring you back to center. It will change the game from a patient's perspective. So that's number one. Number two, have the ability to call a timeout if you need to step away for some reason, right? Maybe it's work, 
right? Maybe it's your career. Maybe you're having a heated disagreement about, hey, where maybe your business should go or where the sales team should go. And it's getting really, really maybe filled with anger. Maybe the tension, you can just feel it in the room. Have the ability to call time out. Just learn this from Brene Brown's book, Dare to Lead. Call time out. Hey, you can practice it in your personal life, but I think professionally, fantastic idea. Hey, time out. I feel like we're getting all our emotions. We're, we're so charged on it. Let's take a time out. Let's take 10 minutes, go for a walk. Let's decompress. Let's come back with a clearer head. Imagine how that will add to your patience and then anybody you're having an interaction with. Amazingly, amazingly powerful, right? Just spoke about this in an example with one of the dads in the experience of calling time out. It was about money situation, right? Money is a charged subject, especially in marriages. I think it's number one as far as the reasons why divorces happen. I said, hey, have the ability to call time out if you guys are getting really you know, emotionally charged because money is such an emo emotionally charged subject. Call time out and talk about it and say, hey, let's just step away. Come back in five minutes. You'll be much better in that process. So number two strategy is have the ability to call time out. And then when you call a time out, hey, say time out and explain it to everybody. Explain the reason why you're doing it. Hey, I think we're getting to the point where tension is so high, we're angry at each other. Let's just take a step, 10 minute break, time out, come back with a clear head and let's figure this out. I mean, that's a powerful, powerful strategy from adding patience and improving patience in our lives. Right? So that's strategy two. Strategy number three. It's along the same lines of breathing, but it's called meditation. Start practicing meditation. I used to think meditation was very woo-woo-ish. Thought of a bald monk on a mountain, right? Arms crossed, legs crossed, snow pouring down on his head. And he's sitting there breathing, right? In, the, in like the frigid temperatures. Meditation is a mindset mental rep for your minds. Hit the physical gym, hopefully, a lot. Many times we don't hit that mental gym, right? And it's so important. Meditation has actually been shown to change the gray matter in our brains. We can actually transform our brains and our minds through meditation. I will tell you just personally in my life, it's been a game changer. Today was 2,419 straight days, about 100 plus days away from seven straight years of meditating every single day. Do you want to know why I can bounce back quicker? Do you know why I can pause in those moments? Because I'm getting the mindset reps in day in and day out. You can use apps out there. There's plenty out. Search for them on the app store or just take four breaths. Right, breathing in through that nose, out through the nose. Find a quiet place, center yourself. Just concentrate on the temperature of the air going in through the nose, out through the nose. When you do that time and time again, all of a sudden, guess what happens? Remember back to strategy number one, how we're breathing? All of a sudden, in the moment, you have the mindset to be able to breathe because you've practiced it over and over again. We think all of a sudden we're going to get a skill. Patience is a skill. We need to practice it. How do you do it? Strategy number three, improving patience, meditate. Make it simple, easy, almost laughable. That's how I love to operate. That's how I coach dads in the experience. That's how I guide my family, right? Simple, easy, almost laughable. Then we actually do what we're supposed to do. So those are the three strategies to improve your patience. Breathe. If things are getting kind of tenuous, right? A little anger, you're getting frustrated. Breathe first. Right. Number two, have the ability to call time out. And number three, improve that mindset, mental muscle, meditate day in, day out. You apply those three strategies. I guarantee you your patience will skyrocket. I appreciate you. Dare to be uncommon. Lovely legacy. Create a legendary day. And I'll talk to you soon.